Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. Whether selling, managing, negotiating, planning, collaborating, pitching, instructing or on your knees with a marriage proposal the secret of success is based on connecting with other people. Now that connection is infinitely easier to make through Nicholas Boothman's program of rapport by design. How to make people like you in 90 seconds or less is the work of a master of neurolinguistic programming whose career is teaching corporations and groups the secrets of successful face-to-face -face communication. Aimed at establishing rapport that stage between meeting and communicating how to make people like you focuses on the concept of synchrony. It shows how to synchronize attitude, synchronize body language, and synchronize voice tone so that you instantly and imperceptibly become someone the other person likes. Reinforcing these easy to learn skills is knowing how to read the other person's sensory preferences. Most of us are visual, some are kinesthetic, and a minority are auditory. So when you say I see what you mean to a visual person, you're really speaking his language. Along the way the book covers attitude, nervousness, words that open a conversation and words that shut it down, compliments, IQs, the magic of opposites attracting, and more. It's how to make the best of the most important 90 seconds in any relationship, business or personal. This is a great book for people with Asperger's syndrome. I slowly went through the book practicing a chapter or two at a time and the general response from others is changing. Certainly noticing changes in my relationships at work and outside. Are you auditory, visual or kinesthetic? Mirroring a person's physical actions, tapping into a person's sensory preferences, and presenting openness with questions that welcome a person in, all contribute to the good human connection. Many good insights I can use with my students. Some chapters, I read again just to practice some F the author's exercises.